Now, as many of you are aware, there was a coup that took place in Paraguay where Fernando Lugo was thrown out of office and Federico Franco was actually put in. Now, fortunately, uh, with the tremendously suspicious circumstances surrounding his uh, suspected coup, three Latin American leaders have stepped forward and decided to not recognize his government. Argentina's President Cristina Fernandez, Ecuador President Rafael Correra, and Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. There should be no surprise. These three governments, and almost primarily these three governments, truly represent the needs and the wants of Latin America free from U.S. imperialism which by the fact that they are not backing those governments makes me suspect that the US might have actually been involved in some way however that's not actually clear at this time but given all of history it's very likely that the US was involved however very interestingly a lot of people a lot of Latin American leaders are upset not even not just traditional leftist ones but um, actual center and right ones so it's not the traditional Bolivia Nicaragua Venezuela but also uh, centrist and rightist governments like uh, Argentina and Chile in fact center-right countries uh, have come out questioning the, the the suspected coup that is taking place however they won't not recognize it now I think that in itself is very suspicious the fact that the center or the right-wing governments won't come out and refuse to recognize this country makes me suspect that perhaps they either know or suspect that, a, that the suspected coup might have actually been carried out by the United States and they're not sure about that so they're not going to attack them right away because they're not sure if it's actually their paymasters that did it so they're playing on the safe side you can understand that if you were a wholly owned subsidiary of US imperialism you might uh, play it safe too now, even in Santiago, where Sebastian Pinera is Chile's first right-wing president since late dictator Augusto Pinochet left office, even they are just having just complete disbelief at this move, which is making the situation all that more complicated. If the right-wing governments were just coming out and saying, yeah, we support this, blah, 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 you know, he's our guy, he's the real leader, then... I would say that it was most definitely U.S. imperialism. But the fact that even the right-wing governments, which are blatantly owned by U.S. interests, are not immediately backing them or denying them makes it uh, very, very strange. However, uh, the U.S. State Department has a spokeswoman by the name of Darla Johnson who said this regarding the situation. We urge all Paraguayans to act peacefully with calm and respectability in the spirit of Paraguay's democratic principles. Now this may very well be her way of saying shut up and follow the plan that we set up but I mean it would seem very much like I mean this is the the kind of thing that they do say that uh, the US State Department US imperialism does say in situations like this however it's not really clear at this time exactly what has happened this may actually be just a general coup from the inside or maybe this really was some kind of democratic launch to get Lugo out of office it's not really known at this time However, it's very suspicious given the speed at which all this has happened, and that speed makes it seem very, very suspicious. How it was all done very quickly and neatly, like done up in a, a nice little package, like it was all pre-planned ahead of time. So what I'm really saying is that this time, I don't really know, but I do on some level suspect this is actually the U.S. government.